site. First of three qualifying heats coming out onto the speedway for the Southern Ontario Sprints versus the Core Pack Merchandising Sprint Cars. This one brought to you by Clots Synthetic Lubricants Canada. And it's also brought to you by Inside Track Motorsport News. This week in flyer, Glenn Styers. And going off eighth at a Mount Hope, the OTR Filters. Car number 66 is Frank Baranowski. Starting ninth at a Mount Hope on show, the Club 54 Tobacco, Neil's Farm Equipment, New Window Works. Car number two, it's Lee Winger. Nine cars, eight laps the distance. The most recent winner for both the SOS and Core Pack in this heat. Glenn Styers won on Tuesday night in Core Pack competition. He won down the Brighton Speedway on June the 20th in the last SOS race. He's in this qualifying heat. He'll roll off from the seventh spot as the green flag comes out off the corner four. He's in the top ten in Core Pack points and wants to have a good run here tonight. Behind him, Turner now takes over the second spot. Connor Mahoney, your leader, Corey Turner, second. Mike Farrell sitting there in that third spot. Here comes Tyler Hendricks down the inside and down the full stretch into corner one. He'll look for the third spot. Turner is right on the tail end of Mahoney here. Both those drivers not accustomed to being right at the front of a heat race, but they're doing a good job right now as Mahoney continues to win. Then it's Turner's second there. Hendricks has now gotten around Farrell, and here comes Styers as well. Steyer sitting in that fourth spot. Mike Farrell back to position number five. Battle at the foot. Corey Turner, Kyle Mahoney going wheel to wheel in the corner one. Turner had a better run through corner two the last time. Now he gets a good run out of the corner. And into turn three. He tries to slide up and he won't do it. Mahoney tries to get underneath him. Four laps in and four to both in turn. Corey Turner to the point. Kyle Mahoney back to second. Glenn Steyer from the seventh spot now has worked his way into Hendricks fourth with this Lee Winger. And you saw Hendricks so as soon as Stiers went by him, he got up in the top five and tried to follow him. And Hendricks doing a good job keeping pace here, learning all he can follow him behind the all-time feature win leader here in the Two to go for the leader, Corey Turner. Second is Connor Mahoney, Glenn Stiers in third. Hendricks fourth and Lee Winger running fifth. Mike Farrell, who started on the outside of the front row back to sixth. Stiers is starting to catch Mahoney, but he's going to run out of time here. Make sure I get the earth to turn around as he puts the rest of the time. One more trip around for Corey Turner. Easter Center almost had his first win at South Buxton back on June the 6th. The checkered flag will come out, and Corey Turner will win the first qualifying heat. Connor Mahoney second. Ben Stiers third. And Lee Winger will go out there. That goes to Tyler Hendricks. Sixth will be Mike Farrell. Seventh of the line will go to Frank Baranowski. Eighth will be James Thompson. And ninth will go to Bob Crawford. So your winner of Plot Synthetic Lubricants Canada and Inside Track Motorsport News Heat Race number one at the Kester Center of the KT Tobacco. Car number 19, it's Corey Turner. Second qualifying heat, seven is Dane Nida. Starting six in car number six at a Thamesford, Ontario, the Vipon. Deller Car Wriggling Brothers trucking. Car number six is Curtis Gartley. And second place in points will start seventh in the SOS standings at a carrying place in the car quest. Jones Automotive, Hotches Auto Parts, car number 11J. It's Chris Jones who comes in second in SOS points here tonight. Starting 8th out of Fort Erie, the service master, Dixon Auto Body, Zenkin Truck and Trailer, car number 94Z is Stan Zenkin. And starting 9th out of Ben Ferrancho, the also Ferrancho, Roy's Auto Body, car number 3R, Shane Ross. Nine more cars, eight laps the distance in this second qualifying heat, brought to you by Speedway Motors and Password Protection Security. Here we go on heat race number two. This Dempster on that high side looking to catch the real deal. Chris Steele who shoots out to the early lead. Bit of a bump going into that third corner that is upsetting these cars as they get in there. Chasing him. Here comes Jonathan around the top side.
in fifth, sixth is Bradley, seventh Zobie, eighth is Chris Jones, ninth is Dan Zaga. So the eight night into the page out of Derek Jonathan's playback there and run up around the top side. He's up in the third, working on Steele for the second spot. Out front, Dempster really starting to pull away as Steele catches that run down into a three. Well, it's a morale for Keith Dempster, who has been looking so much better here in 2015 with that new cool chassis. Hopefully so. He's going to come off of corner four and pick up the win. Keith Dempster gets the check of flag D. That is going to grab the second of the line. Chris Steele third, fourth there. Jonathan fifth is Sheen. Off sixth is Chris Jones. Seventh is Curtis Gardley. Eighth is Zach Zumpy and ninth will be Stan Zenkin. So your winner of Speedway Motors and Password Protection Heat Race number two out of Alton, Ontario, the Renway Energy Ocean Weekend Speedway car number five of Keith Dempster. Third and final qualifying heat coming to life over on the warm-up track in the pit area. Starting in the pole out of Port Colburn, Ontario, the Advantage Collision Center, Mama's Boys, Pub and Eatery, car number 71 assets, Sean Slider. The RBM Carriers, Tim Phillips, Scratch, Blue Beacon, Truck Wash, car number 25, it's the Wiley one, Warren Mahoney. And going off ninth out of Port Colburn, the E-Shine Car Care, Cousin Sheet Metal, car number 43 is Scott Shirt. Nine more cars, eight laps the distance, the final qualifying heat. Here this evening for both the Southern Ontario Sprints and the Core Pack Merchandising Sprint Cars. This one brought to you by Kaiser Aluminum Wheels and trans Transport Sales and Service. Final qualifying heat ready to see the green flag and they get on it off the corner four. Murphy on the outside of the front row, then a couple of veterans behind them. As Slater and everybody still two by two for the corners one and two. The champions in this one, you've got Mitch, uh, pardon me, uh, Jim Hooper and a two time. and transport sales and service heat race number three at a caster center the kt gas car number 11 it's jamie turner so that concludes qualifying heats for the southern ontario sprints versus the core pack merchandising sprint cars they'll be back with their b main a little bit later on more qualifying heats this time for the gales auto aftermarket bomber division on the infield oval position number 10 at a port colburn the eshine car care cousin sheet metal 43 is Scott Shirk. And in the back row, 
Starting E11, go to Fort Erie in the Service Master Dixon Auto Body, Zenkin Truck and Trailer, car number 94, Zeus. So the field crawls to the chalk line here at corner four. Green flag coming out there. Now to have to back off there. Comes very quickly, dives down to the inside line, grabs the lead, puts Gartley back to second. Baranowski holding on to third. Here comes the Wiley one. Warm Mahoney to the top side now into position three. for that final transfer. Now Warren Mahoney, although he finishes fifth, came into this event seventh in SOS points, so chances are, okay, now they're saying five. It said four on the sheet, so five qualify. So it's Adam West that was on the outside looking in. And that concludes the B main for the Southern Ontario Sprints versus the Corpac Merchandising Sprint Cars. So ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet. Wave these drivers on. It's the Southern Ontario Sprints versus the Corpac Merchandising Sprint Cars. Thank you again to Lone Wolf Fireworks for providing the fireworks each and every Friday night here at the Speedway, Highway 54 in Middleport. Green flag is displayed. We're going green flag racing next time by 25 laps of distance. The second challenge series of the season. Glenn Styers, Todd Hoddick on the front row. Dale Shunham with the green flags. The guest starter, ladies and gentlemen, you came looking for a show. Well, here you go. Let's end all the anticipation as we bring to you our feature presentation.
think something may have will make his way back out in time to rejoin this field. Now Dane's one of the guys who's not afraid to run the outside. Do you think he's seen something there and went back in for the crew to get working on? So we're not going to see a 25 lap track record here tonight. Nida is the one who holds that record at six minutes flat. Did that back about three years ago, but with the caution flag, we're not going to see a track record tonight. But Nida, a quick driver starting from the back of this pack now at the 77. Back to the green flag, single file past the cone, and we're on it. Four laps in. the 11 of Jamie Turner on its side in corner number two. And that car went over a pretty rough rollover and the scary thing was all the cars coming in behind with that undercarriage of the car facing the field. Yeah, that is not a good spot to be in. There's not much protection on the bottom of these cars. We're ready to see some more sprint car action. With seven laps in, 18 to go. Glenn Styers, Todd Hoddock, and Keith Dempster, your top three. So single file pass the So Sean Slater, he came in 10th in points with the Southern Ontario Sprints. And not sure if it broke one of the torsion arms or one of the torsion bars possibly, but looks like it's sagging on that right side, Greg, as you mentioned. And he will roll it back to the pits. Before then, they always ended the season at Brighton. Kevin Job win that night. Kevin Job got the win that night, so blast from the past there. Green flag <laughs> Thank you. 
That was a hard hit on the corner one wall. Just missed that bail and caught the blocks. And a solid hit. Swings the 25 around and on its side. Well, Warren Mahoney, you're talking to the safety crew. So that is a good scene down here that he is, seems to be all right. The fact that they just told him to throw it back on its wheel so he can get out is certainly a good sign of the times down here. Wait for Mahoney to get out. And this car absolutely destroyed for Warren Mahoney. He's in the car, worked his helmet off on his own, so that's a good scene, and we'll get him out here in just a moment. So the Wiley one takes a vicious ride. Good news that he is okay. Former SOS champion. We're in a two-time champion. He won it in 2001 and 2006 with the SOS. And that car. You know, almost uh, almost pretty similar to what happened to Mikey Kretschko a couple years ago at the Nationals. Hit that side, tore it up pretty good. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, out of the 25 zone power in a very scary rack, Warren Mahoney. Warren came in seventh in SOS points tonight. Warren, that's... Thing. Are you okay down here, buddy? Yeah, I'm fine. Half smile, half grimace down here for one moment, but here. Right behind you on the lead lap car, and I need to get to business very quickly when the green flag comes out. Seven to go. Styers your leader. The 49 Ahotic second. Third place, the 80 of Steel. side of Glenn Sires and says, guess who's back? No more lap cars. He's got four laps to do something, but does he have anything for the Otrecan Flyer? Well, his best lap of the race is only about a, less than a tenth of a second off of what Styers did, but that was back over ten laps ago now, and since then, Styers has been quicker pretty much every lap, but these restarts at the end of the race can be pretty dicey as the track starts to select off, so we saw Styers before the caution flags bobble a couple times up in turn four. He seems to have figured out that line a little bit better here, but that cushion can bite you at any moment. Bang. Four laps to settle it. Styers, Hotting, Brown, all going for the win. And Brown has hung around all race, and now he's in contention for the win. Frank Baranowski, the nose wing pops up and blocks 
the final time, puts a slide in the final off time. Sure we thank Lone Wolf Fireworks, helping us out with our fireworks each and every week. Make sure you visit them right here in Oshweekin. Victory Lane, the Oshweekin Flyer Glen Stires. Well, Glenn. When you think of the SOS Ashwikin Speedway, you think of Glen Star. It's a fitting night for you, a fun night for you, and man, you guys are hooked up three in a row. You know what? It's hard to drive this thing with no brakes when I was getting up to those lap cars and the guys were spinning. It was close. We got a problem with this car. How much bite was left up on that top side? It looked like you were using every inch. It was slippery. I had to go in like half throttle. That cushion don't might not look big from up there, but it upsets the car and. Uh, Pretty much on every restart, it was getting kind of knocked out of, out of sync. It was really difficult the last few laps. Pretty exciting week for you with the Triple Crown Showdown as well. Yeah, you know what? I got an awesome team, and I'm glad your fans up there are part of a Schwiegen Speedway. And I couldn't do it without my crew. And uh, Steve Moulton, give me a heck of a car tonight. And Stan Farmer, the track man, he give us a heck of a track. All right, let's hear it for the Oshwegan Flyer, Glenn Styers, the winner here tonight. Three in a row, we'll get the folks from Strickland's in there as well for the photos. Tonight's race night sponsor, we'll throw it over to Clinton Jeffrey. Well, Todd Hoddock, another solid night for you in the points. I mean, you're chasing Glenn and uh, doing everything you need to do. You're looking more and more comfortable every night on the top, but uh, what's the story running out there on the berm? Uh, it's just uh, good redraws here by my fiance. That's what's helping us here tonight, but... Uh, no, it's just the, the cushion was good tonight. The longer we went, it got rougher and rougher, and I see Glenn bouncing over, and I was bouncing over. You know, Mitch almost got by me there at the end. It's just uh, the cushion's good, but it got a little hairy there at the end. Still up near the top of the points. A great night, and uh, anybody else you want to thank, Todd? I just want to thank the usuals. I want to thank Merzak Enterprises, uh, Casey's Truck Salvage, uh, uh, Fiberworks Composites, and everybody else that helps out on the car. There you got him, Todd Hollick. He's up near the top of the point standings with the other guy who's also at the top of the point standings, standing by with Greg Kalman. Mitch Brown, another good points night for you on two fronts because you're the SOS point leader, second place with the core pack sprints. But, uh, man, that looked like a tough track to find a, a solid line every lap. Yeah, you didn't know what you were going to get. Each corner was different, and uh, it made it interesting. Some, uh, some laps we were decent, other laps we weren't too good. So You're having a really strong season nonetheless, as I mentioned, up at the top of the standings in both uh, series. Do you take time to soak that in, or do you just look at one race at a time? No, just keep racing, man. Race every night of the week, and uh, you know if the points come at the end of the year, cool. You've got a lot of good people. I know your dad's involved, your brother, just so many people on your team. Who would you like to thank? Yeah, my dad, my brother, um, Haldex, Route 54, just lots of good sponsors on this car, Strode's, uh, they do a lot for us. All right, let's hear it for Mitch Brown, third place here tonight in the Southern Ontario Sprints versus the Corpac Merchandising Sprint Cars. Again, the Southern Ontario Sprints will be down the highway, down the 401, about two hours down south of Chatham in Merlin, Ontario, for round number six tomorrow night. So BuxtonRaceway.ca for more information or go to www.southernontariosprints.com. And we'll be down there tomorrow night. You can follow us online for all the live scoring and updated results at southernontariosprints.com as well. So if you got... Some time on your hands tomorrow night. You've never been to South Box Raceway. Check it out. D-shaped dirt oval with the tri-oval on the front stretch. Picture Richmond on dirt, a little bit smaller, and that is South Buxton Raceway. Should be a fun night tomorrow night with the Southern Ontario Sprints. So a fitting night with Glenn Styers celebrating the 20th season of Oshweekin Speedway, 20th season of SOS. Both get inducted into the Wall of Fame, and there's Glenn Styers in victory lane here tonight. Ties for the most wins in SOS competition here at the Oshweekin Speedway. He has the most championships with the SOS. What more can you say? 
Well, Glenn Styers here in Victory Lane, the folks from Strickland's down in Victory Lane. You see the Chevrolet caps on our winners. So we'll send it back up top side. We've still got two features to go. Up next, the Affordable Towing and Recovery Thunderstocks. And 28 Thunderstocks are ready to go. 38 signed in, 28 qualified for the feature. 20 laps the distance for the Affordable Towing and Recovery Thunderstocks here on Strickland's GMC night. Starting on the pole in the number 48 car, it's Mike Graham. On the outside of row number one, the number 66 will be Brady Longboat. Row number two on the inside, the number 13 is Casey Huffman. And on the outside, the number 81, Carl Salt. Row three on the inside, the number 93 is Melissa.